Please put your hands together for Christoph the Pitch Doctor. Enjoy, my man. Hey. Good to be back. Okay, let's see. Yes, I'm Christoph. I'm the Pitch Doctor, um, but I'm also a founder, and I have a new startup that I'm going to pitch to you today because what we're doing is we're disrupting a product that all of you are, are using, and that's the product 2018. Who's not using the product 2018 right now? Anyone in the room? No, you're all using it. Okay, let's talk about this. What is the problem that the product 2018 is solving? Well, we all need a year to live in because otherwise, if we get asked this, we don't have anything to put in there. If we do a t-shirt, we don't have anything to put there. And if you're EA and there's no years, then what do you call your products? That would be really stupid, right? So everybody is using a year all the time. That's just how it is. But this is a really interesting market. So I want to give you a little bit of a background. The market has actually been growing like crazy for a long time. And especially lately, it's really gone up. But it's also a fascinating market because it's weird that there's new market leaders all the time. They almost show up overnight. They go to almost 100% market penetration, but then they disappear again, and the next one comes up just like that. It's crazy. And also, product quality has been going down a lot. So we started off really awesome with products that were super cool, and then we went on, and this was still super cool, but it's sort of, it's getting more and more boring. And then we have this product, that's sort of cool, product 1968, that was fun, good music. Then we had sort of a strong product, 1989, where everybody felt like these products are getting better now and like we're going somewhere. But then just a little bit later, there's the product 1990 and what happens, hammer pants. And from that point on, it's been going downhill constantly. Just one thing, 2003, Dawson's Creek discontinued. Like, what is this? And then we hit rock bottom when the product 2016 comes out. Everybody hated that product because everybody was dying. And then if that's not bad enough, we get this feature suddenly. <laughs> like, who asked for that feature? Apparently, this is what they say, their Russian investors forced them to do this feature. But we sure didn't want it. And then a little bit later, the current market leader, 2018, pops up. OK? And they did fancy marketing in the beginning. But let's look at that product in a little more detail. So it's pretty basic when you look at it. It's not different than other years that have been around before. But if we look at the features in detail, we'll see it's a really crappy product. For example, why did they copy this feature from 2016? Nobody wanted it. And then we have this feature in 2018. <laughs> and we have this feature. Like, nobody asked for this crap, OK? Also, people are dying again. Like, why is that happening? 2018, Tide Pod Challenge. Who needs that? Fashion 2018, terrible. The return of the fanny pack. <laughs> Were we waiting for this? No. Hiking sandals, really? That's the trend? Then just a couple of days ago, we had a pretty underwhelming iPhone launch. OK, same phone, different price. <laughs> I mean, I'll give it to Apple. <laughs> I'll give it to Apple. Um, the Apple Watch and Hermes collection, that's pretty cool, right? Like 500 different wristbands, that's cool. But 2018 in general, just not a good year. Like you start off, your, your crypto portfolio is worth this, and then 2018 comes along and you're, it's worth this. <laughs> it's all going downhill. The greatest entrepreneur on the planet, 2018. Like what's going on, Elon? What are you doing? What are you tweeting? What are you smoking? It's, it's not working. So here's the fact. 2018 is a shitty product. We all know that. But we looked into it even deeper. We talked to some real customers, OK? <laughs> and we found out the people using 2018, what are they thinking? And they're all saying that since 2018 started, their partners look older. <laughs> That's insane. That's a bad feature. They all said they wouldn't recommend 2018 to friends. That's also pretty rough. And almost everybody said that 2018 sucks because the wrong team won the World Cup. In fact, only one person said the right team won the World Cup. It was this person, OK? <laughs> and then to you personally, to you personally, startup people, did you raise 100 million for your startup this year? Anybody? Raise your hand. Not a single person. Yeah, one joker. Come on. <laughs> and for the investors in the room, did you invest in the next big thing, ridemypony.com? None of you did, right? 
No, it didn't happen. 2018 is a crappy product. So fact, people are ready for a new product. But obviously, there's the elephant in the room, because we all, we all read TechCrunch, right? And we all saw this a couple of days ago, the leak of the new product that's coming out, 2019. Did you see that? We, we weren't surprised. We knew there was something coming, OK? But now we know a little bit more about 2019. And to be honest, it's shocking. I think it's an even worse product than 2018. So in 2019, apparently, Trump is still around, but now he's crowned the king? Seriously? That's what's happening? Only a handful of white people at the coronation, but still. In the UK, Theresa May obviously is out. Boris Johnson is in, watching over Brexit and how the country goes down the drain. This guy also still around, still a feature in 2019. People are still dying in 2019. Who's dying in 2019? Bart Simpson. Why is Bart Simpson dying in 2019? That's not nice. He's only 10 years old. Then there's the nail gun challenge everybody's doing in 2019. <laughs> That's not healthy. And fashion, the foodies take over the fashion scene. Now it's potheads. That's the trend. <laughs> and the new sunglasses. I don't know what's going on. 2019, for me, it sounds like a terrible product. There's no new iPhone in 2019. The only thing that's coming out is this. <laughs> I mean, they do have a pretty sweet, they do have a pretty sweet collaboration with Fifty Shades of Grey <laughs> for the wristbands. I'll give them that. For the, for the crypto owners, your portfolio keeps going down. Now we can only afford this. <clears throat> Elon Musk, Elon Musk now lives in a teepee. He's on a permanent ayahuasca trip, basically. <laughs> but now we're all asking ourselves, why is this? Like, who is building this crappy product? I don't know who's building it exactly, but I know who's behind it. Because I looked at Crunchbase, so this is 2019, that's their product. And these are the people advising them. No wonder it's a terrible product. But don't worry, I got you covered. Because we're building the best product the year space has ever seen. And it's called 2020. That's my product. It's amazing. We have all the standard features, day and night, four seasons, crappy weather. We have all that. But we have a killer feature, and you see it right here. Who sees it? It's down there. That's the killer feature. We have a whole extra day. How amazing is that? That's what I call a killer feature. And, and amazingly, nobody's ever done that before. So what does that mean for you? More seconds. This is how many seconds you have in a normal year, and this is how many seconds we give you. Do you see the difference in size of the circle? It's amazing, right? <laughs> what do you do with the time? Well, you can go on Facebook for a little bit. You can go on Tinder for a little bit. Or you can finally do all the cool master classes you always wanted to do. And there's amazing stuff to choose from, right? <laughs> and the best thing in all of this it's completely 100% free. All of it is free. Everything I described until now is free. But we do have premium features as well, OK? So you have to pay for these. If you pay for them in our product, 2020, Trump deposed by a mysterious person nobody's ever seen before. First, we don't know his name. But then we find out it's Tarak Obama. <laughs> Looks sort of familiar. And he actually brings his friend, Mo Chiden, as well. So they take care of Trump. In the UK, it's looking good, because finally they have a serious prime minister in Downing Street again. That's good. <laughs> and in Russia, well, we tried to get rid of the feature, but it feels like they hacked into our system. They put it back. We couldn't get rid of it. I'm sorry. Um, but we make sure that nobody cool dies in 2020. So we have this for all the stars, everybody famous. We have these rules, no alcohol, no drugs. No meat. So this guy, in 2020, all he's eating is this, OK? We make sure everybody stays alive and healthy. We also have the Shut the Fuck Up Challenge, which is pretty cool, because it challenges people to not post dumb stuff online. Um, and everybody is taking part in it. Like, all the big, uh, the big people on social media, they're doing it, the biggest influencers, and it's working. We also have amazing fashion trends in 2020. We have the Garment of Things. That's pretty cool. Um, and we have crypto fashion as well, so really cool stuff. The iPhone, unfortunately, it's still the same phone. 
different price though, but, but there's a good reason for the price, because now it comes with the eye bag. Do you want to know what the eye bag is? I bet. First Apple people are already ordering it. This is the eye bag. What's the eye bag for? It's the perfect place to put all your dongles. <laughs> and yes, very importantly, it comes in all the colors you would expect, OK? For the crypto people, 2020 is going to be really, really interesting, because finally it comes out who Satoshi Nakamoto really is. It's, of course, Chuck Norris, <laughs> obviously. And this, when this comes out, it's amazing because it spikes up the price of Bitcoin like crazy immediately. And when it comes to Elon Musk, we can even solve that problem with our product. Because we figured out his problem was he was doing too many things. He was losing focus, and that's why he's going crazy right now. But in 2020, he'll focus on just one amazing product, and he'll be totally fine again. A little bit of time to read. <laughs> now you want to know what's our business model. It's very simple. We charge you for the premium features, I already told you. We have merchandise that you can buy. And we have licensing agreements. We already signed a couple of really cool clients. We signed the Olympics. They're paying to use our brand in their logo. Um, we talked to UEFA, and they signed for 2020 for the European, World Cup, uh, the European Championship. And we have the Bavarian Dentist Association Powerlifting Tournament already committed. <laughs> Very proud of that one. <laughs> we also have licensing fees from calendars. Um, and yes, one of these is real. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's not this one. This one is the one I would like to see, really. Um, we also, marketing, we have it all figured out. OK, we have a deal with um, Apple. They're going to put our brand right on the lock screen. How amazing is that? <laughs> and we actually have a deal with Android as well. And they're going to do the same. So we're going to be viral, OK? We also have an amazing social media strategy. Um, all the important platforms will use these two hashtags. And when we launch, everybody's going to talk about it, OK? But we also have offline marketing plant, fireworks. How cool is that? Sydney, Berlin, New York, thousands of other cities, basically around the world. Our product launch is going to connect cultures and people everywhere. How do we do it technologically? I can't tell you much about it, but I can say we're 100% solar powered, which I think is really cool. Also, we're using the latest 3D technology, third decade. Nobody's ever used that before. And our rollout plan is very solid. We start over there, and then we roll it out that way. <laughs> Now, let's look a little bit at the competition, OK? Because there's companies and products that steal time, and there's companies that give time, and there's products that are awesome, and there's products that are shitty. So let's talk about awesome products that steal time. There's Twitter, there's Fortnite, and there's weed, OK? <laughs> then we have products that are shitty and steal time, like doing your chores, dying, and Facebook. <laughs> then there's shitty products that give you time, like prison, or 2019. <laughs> and then there's the amazing, amazing 2020 that gives you time and is totally awesome. And it's so awesome, in fact, that we had our beta testers tell you a little bit about how they like it. So this guy used it. He absolutely loves it. This guy tried it out, and he says he's coming back. So that's perfect. And then these two actually also really appreciated our product. Now, what's the impor most important thing for a startup? It's the team. And we have an amazing team. We have exactly the right people. Um, I think we have all the skills we need. Experienced people, the CTO and me. I've done startups before. This guy, he just joined. Um, so I'm not sure about him. He was unemployed right before. So that's a little um, we're skeptical. But he'll, he'll have time to prove himself. Um, we also have an advisory board that's going to help us along the way. Now, we're obviously in great shape. And investors are camping in front of our office to give us money. But we actually want to give you a chance to participate as well, which is why we're going to do an ICO. We're going to do an ICO that you can have a share of what we're doing. And now I know you're thinking, shut up and just take my money, OK? How do I get this product? You all want to know, right? Here's the thing. We developed a unique way of delivering our product to you 
and that way you will all be able to get it, okay? We call it the World Accumulation Interval Transiting, or short, waiting, okay? <laughs> That's how you'll get it. Unless, if we raise a lot of money in the ICO, then we'll sort of accelerate our timeline a little bit and launch earlier, okay, by building this. But it's going to be hard. But we have the right CTO to pull it off. So final words, don't get caught up in this 2019 hype. Don't believe it. It's a shitty product, just like 2018. Come for our product, 2020. It's amazing. We're literally building the future, and I want you to be part of it. Thank you.